With this documentary, we would like to give you an impression of a number of successful SGP projects in Suriname. What you are seeing now is the Chili Peppers project of the SORG Foundation. This project regards organic agriculture and pilot of growing chili peppers for the export market. This chili pepper project has a lot of capacity for strengthening for us. The community is stronger geworden. Zeker weten wanneer we praten over de kennis dat ze hebben. De Umayepi Makandra Foundation en de project capacity strengthening of Krapa oil producers. Women go into the forest to pick Krapa seeds under difficult circumstances. These are cooked and taken out and then put in bins to extract the valuable Krapa oil. Ah, krapa project kung um, no no en um, u breki falak dat uh, uh, wa money gifre gi gi fu fu do de onder suko over a krapa oli en um, uh, luku sana de mogelik he de fu ver gemakkelijk a uh, auroko. E chao e liever om pun bij drage in a in a abo fu fu a gaze. Mi mi wan tak wel wan uh, we have a very long time and that is what we have to do. So, the crappa bong is the question, and the question is also the question. So, the bong is used to use the material, the bong, etc. And, um, I was talking about the first time, and I was talking about the advisor and the building of the women, Sa de ina orga ina stichting dat de mus char abos ko bugo moro fara na gralant mek de probeer fu bus kerom de bo. Pen training fu teu teu prani den sani pa un set de konamoni. Pen training fu rok makandra na na ustrefu. Pen training fu this is a completed project of SGP, agroforestry that is related to biodiversity. Near the Tapawatra Sula, one of the most beautiful spots at the upper Suriname River, there is a village called Godo. Here the women of the Hoi Tanga Foundation have been trained to use natural oils and herbs to produce soap. The soap is being sold as a means to generate income. The SGP project furthermore contributed with the construction of a building to be used to produce the soaps. In the village of Guyaba, at the upper Suriname River, the plant Yatrofa is being cultivated and the seeds are being harvested by local women. The seeds are then being used to extract the oil with modern machines, after which the oil is used to produce soap that will be sold locally. Now we will take you to the village Calabas Creek at the Copanama River. There is possibility to stay overnight in the building for guest accommodation in peaceful surroundings. Mr. Lewis is the manager of this building. Okay, I also have a lot of food for you. When the people are in the house, they can eat a lot of food. And they say, we're not going to eat a lot of food. And the tourists are also going to eat a lot of food. Tourists are offered the possibility to buy craft articles. The beautiful Bena Beach is in the village Class Creek in a natural, rustic environment. The Foundation for Tourism Development at Class Creek is responsible for the exploitation of this sustainable community tourism project. Calabas Creek and Class Creek 
are both environmentally aware by stimulating community entrepreneurship together with a clean, sustainable environment, and in this way promoting community nature tourism. Dit project heet Beschermen en Behoud van de Biodiversiteit op de Spansie en tegelijkertijd een inkomsten genereren, alternatieve inkomsten genereren voor uh, jongeren. Zo, nou je, nou die koffie, 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 Milubian Podosiri in Mungo. Podosiri is the local name for the acai fruit. This product has successfully trained people to cultivate the Podosiri palms. Around 1,200 Podosiri palm trees have been planted already. Normally, Podosiri is harvested by cutting down the trees. Mr. Nyang Fai has developed a wonderful idea to climb in the trees to harvest the Podosiri, instead of cutting down the trees. The most delicious products are made from Podosiri. These products include jam, cake, and ice cream. These products are sold under the trade name Marwina Podosiri. Podosiri is Sustainable use of agricultural products in Nikeri. Have you ever had assorted nuts and raisins? This is one of the products of the women group Mudarhat from Nikeri. The group also makes delicious chutneys. The community members have been trained in growing safe agricultural products such as plantains, peppers that are being used to produce various products such as the pepper sauce and plantain chips. The women of the Sari Foundation have been able to clean and rehabilitate the tourist area next to the dike, where tourists can now enjoy a more pleasant stay. The area is now clean and trees and flowers have been planted to create a green environment. Sustainable use of non-timber forest products. The village New Aurora is located at the upper Suriname River. The women organization, Dinki Ulibi, carry out the project. This is an agroforestry project in the village of Pampoko along the upper Suriname River. The women have learned to increase their production of vegetables by growing these in a greenhouse constructed with mesh. Also, in the open field, the women have learned to grow the vegetables together with the trees to conserve the tropical rainforest. Sustainable palm oil production. The women have been trained to sustainably harvest the different palm fruits that are used to extract the oil. Also, the Center for Agricultural Research in Suriname is supporting to increase the efficiency of the oil extraction techniques.
Welcome to Saramaka, sustainable use of organic manure for fertilization of agricultural vegetables. Some farmers achieve good results through the use of obtained knowledge about organic fertilization. Sheep manure is also used for this. We conclude this documentary with the recycled plastic project in Wakaningan. A group of women makes beautiful handbags from used plastic bags that can be used for different purposes. This way, they are contributing for the realization of a cleaner environment, whilst generating income with the sales of their products.